This is Alexa. Welcome to my channel. As most of you already know, the new school year is approaching. Are any of you just entering high school this fall? If so, you're probably really nervous about going to a completely new school and entering a completely new environment. Well, this video is going to be a survival guide for all of you new freshmen who are just entering high school for the first time. I'm going to tell you what to prepare for your freshman year of high school, what to do when you're entering high school, and what to expect as a freshman in high school. If you are going to be a freshman in high school this year, I hope you find this video helpful. Let's get into the video. If you are entering high school for the first time as a freshman, my first tip is to start preparing a few weeks in advance. I recommend going back to school shopping. Not just for new clothes, for school supplies too. Get plenty of school supplies such as folders, binders, pencils, and other school supplies you might need. Also, make sure that you have a proper book bag to put your books in and bring to school every day. Having a book bag will make it that much easier to carry your books around throughout the day. Having a book bag will make it that much easier to carry your books from class to class during the day. If you are going to be attending a private school, get your school uniform ahead of time. Keep your uniform nice for the first day of school. Also, get a map of the school and your school schedule ahead of time so that you'll know what classes you're going to have during what marking periods, semesters, and periods of the day you are supposed to have them and who your teachers will be ahead of time. A good tip is to show your schedule to your friends if they're going to the same high school as you and ask them if you have any classes together. You'll feel way less nervous if you're going to have friends in your classes. Definitely go to your new high school's freshman orientation if you're going to be a freshman. Your freshman orientation is basically an event at the majority of high schools where the new freshmen learn their way around the school and find where their classes are and everything. If you go to your freshman orientation, you won't get lost in the school as easily on your first day of school. So you'll feel way less nervous on your first day of school. Get a good night's sleep before your freshman orientation and your first day of school. Set your alarm so that you can get up early enough to get ready in the morning. Eat a proper breakfast before you go. And if you need to, wear something comfortable that makes you feel confident. I recommend choosing your outfit the night before so that you'll get ready faster in the morning. Remember, choose an outfit that is appropriate for school. Be sure to bring everything you need such as a map of the school, your schedule, and even your school supplies such as pencils and your books. My next tip is to try not to be nervous. You have absolutely nothing to be nervous about. It'll be fine, I promise. When you arrive at your freshman orientation, sit somewhere where you will feel comfortable. If you happen to find your friends, sit with them. Most likely, being surrounded by people who you are familiar with will make you way less nervous. If you don't have any friends at your new high school or at your orientation, just sit somewhere where you are comfortable. Also, make sure to listen to the person speaking at orientation when he or she is addressing the school rules and, and all that stuff. Do not doze off or anything like that at orientation. When you are going to a new school, it's best to follow the rules. You do not want to make a bad first impression when you are new. When you begin finding your classes on orientation day, do not worry about being late to any of them when you don't find some of your classes right away. First of all, at least 80 to 90% of the new freshmen are going to need to take their time to find their classes. So you are not alone. Second of all, your teachers will understand that you are new to the school and you're not used to the school yet. Especially on orientation day, your teachers will understand that you do not know your way around the school yet. Your orientation is actually meant for freshmen to learn their way around the school. 
However, do not take too much advantage of this. When the new freshmen are supposed to be looking for their classes, do the right thing and go straight to looking for your classes. Do not go off with your friends during orientation or any fooling around. Be aware that your freshman orientation will be chaos, but it'll be all right. If you get lost or can't find one of your classes, don't be afraid to ask for help. On orientation day, they'll most likely have older students there as mentors for the new freshmen. So you can ask one of them for help if you need to. Or you can ask a teacher for help. When you get to your classes, be sure to listen to the teacher when he or she is talking or giving directions. If you happen to have friends in your classes, do not let them distract you from paying attention in class. When it's your freshman orientation, you must really pay attention. My next tip is to make some friends. Even though you must pay attention to the teacher, try to make some friends. If there is someone who you see yourself being friends with, don't be afraid to say hello to them. For example, if you love someone's shirt or something that they're wearing, tell them. Also, make some friends who have the same lunch period as you. That way you'll have someone to sit with during lunch. Another way to make friends is to get involved with the school. You can join clubs that have to do with your interests. For example, if you're an artist, join the art club. If you play an instrument, join the band. Or, if you're a good singer or you love to sing, join the chorus or choir. If you are more athletic, you can join a sport. For example, if you love to play basketball, join the basketball team. If you love to play a sport, why not join the team that plays that sport? I think that joining sports teams, clubs, and other extracurricular activities is a great way to make friends who have similar interests. My next tip is to not be afraid of older students or upperclassmen. They are not going to bully the freshmen or shove them into lockers or anything like that. You know, the upperclassmen were freshmen once. My last tip is to always get to class on time Always focus and pay attention in class. Always do your work in school. And always get your homework done on time and hand it in on time. Now that's the most important thing you have to do to survive your freshman year of high school. To be honest, high school is not that much different from middle school. The only difference is that it'll be completely different people. Well, except for probably some. High schools are bigger than middle schools and have a bigger landscape. And the work is a teeny bit harder. Trust me. The transition from elementary school to middle school is a lot harder than the transition from middle school to high school. That's it for this survival guide. I hope this helps a lot of upcoming high school freshmen out there. I'm going to be a sophomore in college this fall, but I was a freshman in high school once. That was back in 2012. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye guys!